Make your old speaker into Bluetooth with this tiny Bluetooth module. Sound interesting, right? Yes, it's possible and it's very easy to make. This is Gore D2805V or 82D12V Bluetooth module. That means it supports 5V to 12V power supply. So it's have right and left channel speaker output. And it works very nice without any noise. So this is the subwoofer sound system from Microlab. It's a stereo in the room speaker. So it's quite old, about seven or eight years not have a bluetooth mode but it need to be connected with uh, audio cable as you can see there is a master volume a dedicated vase volume a audio input jack right and left channel speaker output and a power switch so it's very easiest way to make it bluetooth so i'm rahat you're watching logical let's let's jump into the video To making Bluetooth, you need some components, a Bluetooth module, a 3 terminal toggle switch, a 6 terminal slide switch and a 5 volt power adapter. I will explain why I used external power adapter later. So first of all, you need to open up the main circuit board from the speaker. After opening up the main circuit, this is the audio input jack, so the Bluetooth audio output must be connected through this line. I just wire up the module. Now I show you the main problem if I don't use this external 5V adapter. I try to install the Bluetooth module with internal DC power source. To get DC source, need to check with multimeter. I'm checking the transformer AC voltage, it's a center trap transformer. So these are the transformer output line. Approximately, it can supply 12 volt and 25 volt. The step down AC voltage must be rectified for constant DC voltage. As you can see, these diodes are the rectifier. For proper DC, it should be goes through the capacitor as parallel. So capacitor voltage must be the proper DC voltage. I'm getting 16 volt DC voltage from this circuit board, but the Bluetooth module needs 5 volt to 12 volt supply. That's why to get 5V, I'm using 5V regulator here and connect it to 16V supply. As you can see, now the voltage is 5V and I connect it to the module, so Bluetooth must be turned on. Now I'm connecting with my device. It's successfully connected with 3.0 Bluetooth. I'm playing a video and connecting a speaker to the amplifier circuit. Then the Bluetooth output audio connecting to the amplifier input. I'm just testing with my hands. So I have two NPM regions with 500 gigs of SSD. Testing with Crystal this mark, we can see the sequencer speed. You probably can hear the noise. The noise can be filtered with a complex circuit, but I'm showing you the easiest one. That's why I'm using a dedicated 5 volt power supply for Bluetooth module. Now I'm connecting with the adapter. It's mirror effect logo, which is top gaming. Though it's not a finger magnet, if your hand gets swayed, there will be some. As you can see, there is no noise. The audio is clear now. So let's see the whole circuit connection diagram. First of all, I'm explaining the audio jack. This is the ground. Middle one is right channel speaker, and top one is left channel speaker. From dedicated 5V DC supply, connects positive line through switch to Bluetooth module and ground line directly. The output left and right channel connects with the 6 terminal slide switch and also connects the wires left and right channel audio to the slide switch. From slide switch, the main left and right channel audio connects with the amplifier. All the ground line must be connected as same connection. So the slide switch operates as a mode switch between Bluetooth and wire mode. When the toggle switch is on, the Bluetooth is turned on. And now select the mode to Bluetooth mode by sliding switch up and the sound is playing. We can now change mode to wire mode by sliding switch down and the sound is playing. If the switch stay in the middle, the sound will stop playing. So let's demonstrate the circuit. Tear down the 5V adapter and brings out the main circuit board from it. Join it to the Bluetooth module. These two wires directly connect to the AC power source. The output 5V connects to Bluetooth module with a toggle switch. These are the output left and right channel. The toggle and slide switch will fit in here. 
So I'm making drill into it and making a base for it. After drilling, the switches are perfectly fitted. When the switch is up, these two terminal and these two terminal is short, but there is no contract between them. When the switch stay in the middle, nothing is short. When the switch is down, this terminal is short. You need to solder the wires. After soldering, these two wires are Bluetooth inputs wire. These two wires are main output, should be connect to the amplifier. And these two wires for wire audio input. As you know, this is the audio input jack. So red line is right channel and yellow line is left channel. I'm gonna break this line. As you can see, I just cut these lines. If I show you now the circuit connection, so slide switch output line must be connects to this point. Bluetooth left and right channel should also connect with slide switch point. And lastly, wire audio input connects other slide switch point. And the ground line of Bluetooth module have to be connects with any ground point of the amplifier circuit. Otherwise, it will not work. So I'm connecting this line with soldering iron. After soldering, it should look like this. As you can see, I also connect the ground line. I make a cut for Bluetooth antenna. The antenna comes out from the case for better signal range. Finally, the dedicated 5 volt power source connects parallelly to the transformer AC line and make a proper connection, tape it for safety. I glued Bluetooth module strongly. Let's put back parts again. Before everything assembled, need to test first. I take two phones, one for Bluetooth connection and second one for wire connection. Before Bluetooth connection, Bluetooth power switch must be turned on. So I just turn on the Bluetooth power switch. I already connected the wire device. Now I'm connecting the Bluetooth device. As you can see, it's successfully connected. The mode is now at wire mode. The wire audio is now playing. But this Bluetooth device audio is not playing. To play the audio, need to change the mode. So I'm changing the mode to Bluetooth mode. Making the VLAN is the most difficult part of this project. So audio is now playing from this Bluetooth device. So now I'm going to attach two of these RGB lights on the surface of the is 144 Hz, although the refresh. There is a question about your color accuracy here. As you can see, both are working nicely. Time to assemble all back together. There is a hole in 5 volt adapter circuit. So I screw it down to the wood and it fits very well. So the moment of truth, everything is connected nice and tight. If I want to show you the button side right now, as you can see, there is a mode switch which will change the mode between Bluetooth and wire connection. Also a dedicated Bluetooth power switch. I brings out the Bluetooth antenna for better signal. So let's test it out how it works. So this phone is connected as Bluetooth and this phone is connected as wired as you can see. So if I play two music from these two devices, 
First of all, need to be select the mode. The speaker is already at Bluetooth mode and it's already connected with this device. If I play the music from this Bluetooth device, as you can see, it's now playing. If I change the volume, it works very perfectly. So what about the wired connection? So need to be changed the mode first. So it's now at wired mode. So if I play the music from this device, yes, it's now playing from wired connection. If I change the volume, it also worked very perfect. So now if I play two music at once from these devices. So I'm gonna play two, two music at once. So this device is now playing. So it's now connected as wired connection. If I change the mode as Bluetooth, it's now playing also. It's now as Bluetooth connection. It's so it's playing from Bluetooth just need to be changed the mode right now so it is now and it's now at bluetooth mode and then this is the wired mode so it's very nice work so changing the mode again to bluetooth perfect yes nice so that's it you can make your old speaker in the bluetooth it's easy and simple within just one dollar so hope you see in the next diy video that's it for today goodbye for now